called the Mongol Bankhar and we are uh, with the Mongolian Kennel Club. Uh, our dogs will be shown on Sunday in the non-recognized group, but we are hoping we can uh, make rec uh, apply for a recognition for group one, which is cattle, dog, and sheep. Yeah. They're still serving their original purpose today in Mongolia. So Hello. our trip here was almost 20 hours. Uh, we flew from Ulaanbaatar to Istanbul. It was a nine hour flight, and we waited in Istanbul for five hours. Uh, two more hour flights from Istanbul to Budapest and then we drove to Zagreb for four hours, so 20 hours. I have been in Mongolian stand and there was a dog and they will try to make that FCI will recognize them as FCI breed for the group one. How it happens usually? To have it, ah, you mean what the requirements to for breed recognition? Yes. Well, usually, not usually, our requirements are such that the national canine organization of the country of origin of the breed must apply to the FCI to have the breed recognized. There are requirements to fulfill. There must be a minimum number of dogs registered over the years, over the past years, of course. Then there must be a standard written. Then there, are, there is a health uh, survey to complete. There is a temperament survey to complete. There are different examinations to be done on site. And once the, all this file is completed, then the two commissions of the FCI standard and scientific meet. There is a report from an observer who has to see a minimum of 60 dogs of the breed, males and females, mm -hmm. during a show or during a special event, specialty show or whatever. And then all this is sent to the, the two commissions. They make a recommendation to the general committee and the general committee says, yes, we recognize the breed or not provisionally, which means minimum 10 years. So during these 10 years, the breed is recognized provisionally by the FCI. It means that it can go to shows, it can take part in events, in anything, but the dog cannot have CSIB. The dog cannot have titles of international champion. The dog cannot have all these things. But they can have a pedigree with the FCI logo, etc. And after 10 years, minimum, then the country of origin can again ask for the definitive recognition. And then we start again. There is another visit to see how the breed has developed in 10 years. We are asking for statistics, how many dogs of that breed were shown at the major show in different countries. And based on the report, the General Assembly, not the jury committee this time, the General Assembly makes the final decision to recognize the breed or not. That's how it works. Long, long. It is, it is. We don't want to recognize, you know, someone who has bred five puppies in his garage and says, oh, it's a lovely breed. I would like to have it recognized. It doesn't work like that. We are a serious organization. We have been living for 113 years now because we are serious and professional and we want to keep up to our standards. habe ich mir gerade eben beim Stand des der Bauerpokale gekauft. Einfach zum Anlass, weil mein Hund Weltsieger heute wurde und zudem auch noch Best of Breed. Aha. Und äh, wo steht, wo wird er stehen? Der wird natürlich einen ganz besonderen Platz bekommen. Der wird im Wohnzimmer auf einer, Vitrin, auf einer Vitrinablage sein, sodass jeder, der in das Wohnzimmer reinkommt, einen direkten Blick auf diesen schönen Pokal hat. Und das ist eine sehr gute Idee, etwas zu kaufen und so groß. Das ist Ihre Idee, oder? Ganz genau. Also wir haben vor drei Jahren schon mal einen Weltsieger gemacht in Brno auf der Weltsieger. Und da habe ich einen ähnlich großen Pokal gekauft. Und ich habe mir gesagt, wenn der eine Hund den hat, muss der andere ihn auch haben. Und es ist halt ein großer Anlass. Wann wird man schon mal Weltsieger? Und deswegen bin ich los und habe eine große Erinnerung immer in den Armen. Und schwer auch? Es ist etwas schwer, ja, ja. Doch, ist schon massiv. Und wie haben Sie äh, vorbereitet äh, für R? R. Ja. Es ist das erste ähm, 
Hundeausstellung, Welthundeausstellung. Erste für er Nein, er ist zwar erst zweieinhalb Jahre alt, aber es ist schon seine zweite Ausstellung, also zweite Weltsieger Ausstellung. Die letzte war letztes Jahr in Genf. Da konnten wir zwar die Champion-Klasse gewinnen, aber nur das reserve Karzip, somit keinen Weltsieger. Und da war er erst anderthalb Jahre alt. Da habe ich gesagt, das machen wir nochmal und heute hat es geklappt. So habe ich verstanden, dass sehr wichtig ist, wenn Pokal größer als Hund ist. Ja, schon, aber man, es ist halt ein, ein, wirklich eines der größten Erfolge, die man mit einem Hund erreichen kann. Warum nicht auch einen großen Pokal? Ob der jetzt größer als der Hund ist? Ja, ich glaube, es muss so sein. Vielen Dank. Sehr gerne, sehr gerne. Je suis très contente. Euh, pourquoi J'ai gagné la classe euh, vétéran avec mon mâle. Ah, 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 un prince très bonne femme et très bon chien. Merci beaucoup. From? I am from Dallas, Texas. Mm -hmm. And how long does it take to come here? How was your trip? My trip was crazy, but eventful. Um, two days to come here. Uh, how you made it? We, we flew from Dallas to Vienna, Vienna, here. It's your first trip to Europe? Um, sec I, no, I came here uh, three times. My first uh, time seven years ago, I brought her mom and dad from Italy, from Rome. So I've been to Rome um, twice now and then Croatia this first time. Um, I love the country. It's very beautiful. The food is amazing. The people are nice. Um, it's different for sure. Very different. I mean, we're all very happy to be here, and it's amazing how many dogs they could put up together. The showgrounds are nice, the halls are in order, and everything is run well. There are specialities, there's national shows, everything runs perfect for us judges, but also, I think, for exhibitors and dogs. Yesterday and today you make a very important decision because this decision is important for breeder, for the dog, for the life of the dog and for his family. What do you feel, this responsibility? Well, you know, I grew up with dogs, especially my parents were breeding Dobermans. And then you come to many different breeds over your exhibitions you do and you are doing training dogs and you have in gun dogs and in pets and also in uh, toys, for instance. After all of these years, let's say about 35 to 40 years in the meantime, um, you are happy if you are honored and pleased to award such nice events and beautiful dogs on the World Dog Show. It's really a privilege to do. So what I did yesterday was uh, the Hungarian breed, uh, Hungarian pointing dogs, Madja Vizsla, uh, in short head I awarded best of breed to a wonderful young specimen. He's not even two years old. He started in intermediate class, but he was wonderful when standing and moving. An outstanding dog. I think he will have a beautiful and great future. Today I did Labrador Retrievers, my breed. The breed I was judging um, at first, 2002 in Russia, Moscow. I had alone more than 300 entries, I remember, and we worked all day on different points and different things. 
my strongest class was exactly the same number in 2002 in Russia. In one class only, Labrador Retriever Bitches Juniors, I had 53 dogs. And this is what I had in Bitches today as well. Lovely specimen, and I was honored to do then uh, Best of Breed, a colleague from Argentina judged the males, and we picked brother and sister, I mean from one um, family, uh, so it was lovely, 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 and we, not only the breeders or, or exhibitors were lucky, uh, we as well, and we have been uh, really pleased and uh, full of pleasure to have those dogs shown under us. preparing now for the next World Dog Show in Helsinki. And when did you start to prepare your country for World Dog Show? Uh, well, uh, quite many years ago, because when we decided that we would like to apply uh, to organize the show, we also started to plan how to do it. And we have some experience from the year 2014. And, uh, 1998, so we have organized big shows in Helsinki, and, and we want to organize the next year's show in the same spirit of Helsinki. We want to have a, a nice show for people from all over the world. And also we are quite strict on, on, on how people um, treat their dogs. We want that the dogs are, are treated in a nice manner, shown in a nice manner, that the well-being of dogs is the most uh, important priority in the dog show. So we want to have happy dogs in our dog shows and happy people, of course. <laughs> Welcome to Helsinki in 2025. We want to have a nice, happy show in Helsinki, and, and we are very happy to have you all there in August. Welcome. Welcome to Helsinki. Thank you very much for the possibility to speak with famous judge. Thank and you. not only famous judge, but very famous breeder. Thank you. 
Uh, I this is my first uh, world dog show. Okay. Next year I would like to take part in the world show and to win. What should I do? Where can I take such a dog who will win? Or it depends from me. What should I do every day? Could you please give advice? <laughs> well, that's kind of hard advice. But for a start off, do you have dogs? Uh, I have poodle. You have poodles, okay. And you show them already? Uh, I have shown in Hungary toy poodles and miniature poodles. Okay, good, good, good. Well, um, next year, obviously, the World Show is in Helsinki. It promises to be a fantastic show. Um, it will be the third time that I will have been to Helsinki for a World Show, so they always run a spectacular event. And the Poodle Judges next year, um, I think the judges are already out, so we've got very experienced Poodle Judges. So if you have a nice Poodle, and you present it well, and you show it well, and you have a good rapport with your dog, and you look good, the dog looks good, then I'm sure you can win. But what uh, have I to make every day? You from to, today? So from today. So every day you must um, exercise the dog. You need to condition both the body and the mind. You need, to con you need to make sure the coat is fantastic, but you can't allow the coat to be more important than the whole dog. You have to make sure that not everything about the dog is conditioned, mentally, physically, and the coat. Good feeding, lots of exercise, all of these things are important. And if I want my dog to have famous children, who will be also winners to be a good breeder, yeah. could you please give some advice, it's not only to me, but to all people who will watch us? Well, it's important that if you've got a female and you're going to breed from her, that you use a dog that is compatible, that doesn't share the same, because all dogs have faults, so you don't want to breed two dogs together that have the same faults. You need to use a dog that is a proven sire, that has proven to produce lots of high quality children. Um, and sometimes this means traveling, you might have to travel to a different country to use the right dog, but it's worth the effort to make sure that you get something special. famous for wonderful atmosphere. Yes. People want to come back. And also famous for night show. Yes. What's about European dog show? Will it be at night? No, the European dog show will be like all other big shows, world dog show, European dog shows will be by the day because there will be a huge amount of dogs. So it's not impossible to do over the night. We'll be in the expo, like usually three days, four days, so a big event. Welcome to European Dog Show in Slovenia. I can promise you that it will be a good organized show with very huge, great hospitality. We have wonderful judges. We will have very nice competition, hard, with very high quality of the dogs from all countries around Europe and other continents.